Hi everyone, welcome back to the Scottish Cowboys Darts channel. Today we're going to be doing a product that I bought from Pinger Darts and it's the Fox Windmill Foxfire Darts. These are part of the budget section, the under £30 darts that I said I was going to start doing. These retail at £26.95 from uh, Premier Darts. If you use my code TSC5, the Scottish Cowboy TSC5, you'll get a further 5% discount on these darts. So the £26.95, you'll get about £1.35, £1.40 off it. It's another saving that goes towards flights, stems, whatever you want to buy them. These come in 21 grams, 22 grams, 23 grams, 24 grams, 25 grams, 26 grams and 28 grams. So there's a, a dart with a weight for everybody out there. The straight barrel dart, as normal, we'll get these over to the board. We'll get them over to the table first, have a close up look at them, get them over to the board, do the score of challenge, then do a recap in the ratings. So let's get into the table. <music> A look at the box then, nice clear window showing you the barrels with a little point protector. You've got the windmill logo at the bottom. You've got the prism logo to tell you that it's coming with prism force shafts and prism alpha flight. You've got the Foxfire name on the front, 80% tungsten. On the side, you've got clear indication that it's a windmill Foxfire dart, good for people stacking them. On the rear, You've got the Foxfire logo, a little bit telling you about a dart with a close-up of the barrel, telling you it's 8% tungsten content, precision engineered, natural finish and match weighed to 0 0.05 of a gram. A little bit about the social media page for Winmo, follow, like and watch at Winmo, hashtag Winmo. So guys, let's get these opened and have a look at them. Now, Winmo always, well, most... That's what I've done from one milk come in the foam packaging and I like the foam packaging. It, it makes the darts feel secure. They're taking the effort to get you good packaging so nothing happens to the dart on the way to you. You'll see barrels are nicely packed. Point protector. The three prism force shafts. We'll take a look at one of the shafts because I'm not going to be putting these shafts on the dart because I don't want to damage them. But that's the shaft that comes supplied with them. When I go to throw, they do the throwing section. It won't be these that are on it. It will be a Premier Dart shaft and Premier Darts flights. So it's just the Premier Force shaft. That looks like it's either a medium or long. I'll, I'll measure it just so people know what length it is. From the shoulder of the thread to the top, it is 48.7 millimetres long. Now, the, the, the thing that a lot of people like about the Prism 4 shaft is you've got that extra grip on the stem for people that are rear grippers. So we'll put that back in the box. We'll have a little look at the flights because they won't be going on either. There you go. Prism Alpha flights. Actually a very nice looking flight. Striking green and dark pink colour. So we'll stick them away. And we'll look at the barrels. So the barrels will come supplied like this in the Winma point protector. Now, a lot of people call it Winma, Winma, I just see it as I see it, Winma. So if Winma want to correct me on how to pronounce it, it would probably help me out a lot. So we'll take the barrel out and we'll get a little close up and do some measurements of it. So first impressions, as you're seeing, it's a black point that comes on the start. And I'm a big fan of black points. It would have suited a silver point, but I don't really like the silver point song. I'm happy it's a black point that's on it. You've got a little ball nose. So it's, it's more tapered than ball put together, if you look at it. It's not. And it tapers up to the very front of the barrel, which is smooth. And then all you're getting is 
a full, you're probably talking three quarters, minimum three quarters of the barrel is covered in ring grooves. And they're just flat, equity spaced ring grooves. It's just a very basic dart, as you would expect for the price. You've got the windmill logo, laser etched on the back. It's a parallel dart, it's as straight as a die. So let's take a measurement of the diameter. The diameter is 6.35. Quarter of an inch, if you want to talk in old money. And the length is 51mm. So it's a decent length dart. It's thin. It's got the grip. Initial impressions are it is a decent grip. It's about a 2.5 to a 3. It's not sharp, but it does catch... You're not going to slide off that. Rear grippers, if you don't catch a couple of the last grooves, you're not going to get much. Front grippers, I'll be able to tell because that's where I grip. I'll be gripping right at the front and see what grip I get. So, not much more to say about this dart. It's just a natural tungsten finish. It actually looks quite nice. Quite basic. And I'm hoping to do at least one budget dart a month under 30, 30 pounds or under. So we'll get these on the scales and get them weighed. So I'll take the scales, switch them on, make sure it goes to zero. There we go, zero. Now these say the plus or minus 0 0.05 and these are the 23 gram versions. So, first one, 23.09. 23.1. 23.1. And 23.1. So they are really good. That's the last couple of one mouth darts I've done. And both of them are budget darts have came in really, really close to being perfect, all three darts. So the complete setup is going to be 24.85. So there's not much more for me to do rather than build these darts up and get them over to the board. So let's go to the throne section, get the scroller section done and then do the recap. So now we come to the throwing section and the darts I'm not too confident with them in my hand. They just feel quite strange. I can't quite put my hand on it and they're not coming out my hand very well. They they are kind of sticking in the board, the points are really good, but getting used to this length of dart, it's just a long dart for me. I'm used to I don't play with a short dart, but I play with a, a kind of medium sized dart, so I'm gonna see how I got on with them. We'll finish the throwing section, do the scholar section, and then do the ratings and a recap.
that was the review for the Winmo Firefox darts. As I said earlier, these were £26.95 from Premier Darts. If you use my discount code, which I'll post at the end of the video, you'll get another 5% off them. As you've seen from the throwing section, I struggled with them. They're thinner than I normally throw. They're a straight barrel. The grip wasn't suiting me. They were really long. If I was to throw these darts in a normal game, I would, excuse me, I would reduce the size of the stem at the back and sit and fit a number two flights because I was throwing them with number six flights and a long stem. I would go to medium or intermediate. So we're going to do the grip rating. The grip rating for the front of the dart is a 2.5 out of 5. Middle is 2.5 out of 5 and the rear is 2 out of 5 because you get a bit of that smooth barrel grip at the back. Value for money for £26.95. It's a 7 out of 10. I recently reviewed the Navigator darts, which in my opinion were slightly better than these and they were a lot cheaper, they were half the price, so that's what I'm giving the value for money. Overall, it's a basic, basic dart. One thing that I do say is really good, the points are excellent, they really grip the board. This gets a 5 out of 10 overall, and this is based on me, you could take it away and review it and you think it's a 10 out of 10 because it suits your throw. It didn't suit my throw, so it's a 5 out of 10 for me. It's just a straight barrel with a straight groove. Nothing fancy, nothing detailed. It's thin, it's light, it's long. If you like that kind of dart, you could give this a better rating, but it's rated on how I feel. So it's a 5 out of 10. So it's right in the middle. It's not something I would say is rubbish, because it isn't rubbish. It's actually quite a decent dart for its price value, but it's just not up with the slightly more expensive darts as that's how you've got the value for money it's got a 7 out of 10 but overall for me it's a 5 out of 10 so guys if you liked this video please hit the like button subscribe and get the notifications so that you see the future reviews because there's going to be a lot more reviews coming if you like the score here head over to St Helens Dart Shop I'll put a link in for that use the code COWBOY and you will get free delivery on the school the assistant anywhere in the UK from St Helens that shop. So thanks for watching guys. Keep enjoying your darts and I'll catch you on the next review.